Hello everyone, welcome to the next 5 minutes or less video. This is going to be on rocks. Here we go. Rocks are solid materials composed of one or more mineral inside of them. There are three types of rocks and they're all based on how the rock was formed. So we're going to go through each three. The first one is sedimentary. This is going to happen when you take pieces of rock, which is called sediments, and you compact and compress them together and cement them and they end up becoming a sedimentary rock. So the first step is going to be called weathering. Weathering is when rocks break down into pieces from weather. The broken pieces then get eroded or moved into a body of water and then they get dropped off in a pile and eventually the pile gets really heavy in which case they're pressed down which is called compression and compaction and then they're glued together through a process called cementation by like mud and water. So there's three types of sedimentary rocks. The first type is clastic. It means it's made of pieces of other rocks. You got chemical, which is from mineral crystal crystallization in water. And then you got bioclastic or organic, which formed from something that was once alive, like coal being from dead plants and limestone being from shells. To determine if something's sedimentary, you want to see if there's fossils or imprints in it, like this, or if they have ripple marks or if there are pieces of other rocks in it, or if you see layers in the rocks like this. All right, there is a sedimentary rock chart. Make sure you're familiar with how to read this. Igneous rocks is the next. We got a formation from volcanoes or in magma chambers, so it's either gonna be formed deep underground in magma or on the surface from lava. There are two types. The first type is called extrusive, meaning they're on the surface. They cooled really quickly. They didn't have a chance to create crystals, so they're small to no crystals, or they can have gas pockets, which is a vesicular texture like this. If they're intrusive, they form deep underground, which means they cooled slower, so they have nice big crystals. Obsidian is an example of an extrusive igneous rock that doesn't have any crystals. It has a glassy texture. Normally, fossils are not found in igneous rocks. They're created from lava and magma, so normally the fossils are destroyed. This is the igneous rock chart. Make sure you're aware of how to read it. The only thing I'm going to point out that's interesting is if you go to the igneous rock you want, like Gabbro, and you make a line straight down, whatever patterns down here that it goes through are the minerals inside Gabbro. So it would be this one, plagioclase feldspar, pyroxene, a little bit of olivine, and a little bit of amphibole. Last type is metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rocks can come from any of the other types of rock as long as they're heated or pressurized. So you want to heat them but not melt it, so just to make it more pliable so that the minerals can realign themselves. If you squeeze them, they become flattened and the minerals can line up by density or you can have a wavy or distorted pattern like this. This is an example of banding. Contact metamorphism is when you have rocks that are nearby a magma chamber and they are subjected to very high heat and that's why they change into metamorphic rocks. Regional metamorphism is from a lot of pressure like two continents colliding and then they will form things like mountains which will have a lot of metamorphic rocks inside of them. We talked about banding, it's very common. They sort of look like zebra stripes like this piece of gneiss here. Uh, distorted structure means it's got like wavy patterns in it like that. It means it was squeezed. And again, there's no fossils, very rarely at least, in metamorphic because they're normally destroyed in the process of creating them. Here is the chart for metamorphic rocks. There is one thing I want to point out real quick. It tells you that some of these metamorphic rocks like quartzite comes from sandstone. So this is called the parent rock because that's the rock that quartzite comes from. So it's a couple of these. They got one here, shale turns into slate, and then limestone or dolostone here can turn into marble. And also bituminous coal, which is a sedimentary rock, can turn into anthracite coal. And finally, we talked about the rock cycle. All three types of rock can turn into the other ones at some point, that's why it's called a cycle. And to read this chart, you just follow the arrows and make sure you don't go backwards. So, for example, magma solidifies and turns into igneous rock. And then igneous rock can be weathered and eroded away to turn into sediments, which are then deposited and buried and compacted and cemented to turn into sedimentary rock. And you could follow the wheel in whatever direction the arrows go. 
All right, that's rocks in five minutes or less. I will see you on the next one.